Patients with type 1 diabetes rely on various insulin delivery methods, all of which require substantial user interaction. In contrast, the bionic pancreas currently in development is highly automated, requires only the patient's body weight to start therapy, and continuously adapts to the patient's changing insulin needs over time. A new study compared the bionic pancreas with standard care in children and adults with type 1 diabetes. In this multicenter, unblinded trial, sponsored by the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, 326 patients, 6 to 79 years of age, were randomly assigned in a 2 to 1 ratio to either the bionic pancreas with insulin aspart or insulin lispro, or to standard care. Participants in the standard care group continued to use the insulin delivery method they were using at the time of enrollment. All participants were provided with a real-time, continuous glucose monitor. The primary outcome, the glycated hemoglobin level at 13 weeks, favored the bionic pancreas. The mean level dropped from 7.9% at baseline to 7.3% at 13 weeks in the bionic pancreas group, but stayed at 7.7% in the standard care group. The percentage of time that the glucose level was below 54 mg per deciliter was non-inferior in participants assigned to the bionic pancreas as compared with participants assigned to standard care. The incidence of severe hypoglycemia did not differ significantly between the groups, and there were no episodes of diabetic ketoacidosis. The authors conclude that among children and adults with type 1 diabetes, automated glucose control with a bionic pancreas conferred a significant reduction in the glycated hemoglobin level at 13 weeks, as compared with standard care. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.